All right, guys. It's an update for Ish car and an update for what's going on. Ish car is done, mechanically done. All we waiting is the harness. the AC box now but I'm still waiting on the on the on the box not in the box the harness so you got speed engineering headers pro forge uh no, what is it? Pro, pro form it's the header bolts it's done and tech is still not completely on because it has to harness got to come to the back up so still waiting on the harness to complete this guy so you can leave uh remember i'm not gonna put i'm gonna put all the ac stuff back in not the all the stuff but the ac box back in there i gotta go get to those two water lines that goes to the fucking pump i modified the covers to fit and that's it um that's a dummy it's because the car doesn't have washer it came without uh fucking uh windshield wipers he they even cut it off the harness for some reason so it has no windshield wipers so that's a dummy remember how i, I had a lot of little little bit of over um not overspray but like fish eyes and stuff like that and remember there's a budget built so i ran out of paint because i used all the remaining paint to paint this guy uh and that's just as a it's a dummy just to hide some of the stuff uh what else so from here it goes to exhaust exhaust goes to tuning and after Tony probably gets comes back so we can finish the Dakota. That's the only thing that didn't make it, the Dakota. Um and that's about it. And the little brake system. Yeah, this is Camaro on them. And that's about um, about about an ish car. So we just wait on harness. Once harness gets here, we do the first start and stuff like that. I was modding this. That's it. Modding it. So we can have the snorkel. And uh MP intakes and this one. So but it has to be it. This is the one he calls the LS3V. <clears throat> so we was trying to see if it fits without any modification. But I have to shorten it an inch there. And I have to cut three inches there for the math because the math we was gonna put it here because I was just gonna use the snorkel the snorkel so the math here and this way we had a intake plate uh intake uh, space but now as the, the big tube the the tube goes this way so now the only slag I got on the harness is here and put it here but I can cut the harness and make it longer and put the math on this side with the filter going this way. So I can still cut it shorter, like around on this area here, instead of cutting it here and having a big ass ugly math there. So like that'd be one solid tube and just cut it somewhere here. I don't know if I will have the angle. Okay, we'll have to come straight down and this way like that. But I think it has it on the bottom. But I still, if I have to cut the bottom. Uh, yeah, what I was saying about the tube. If it fits here. Dang it, it's, oh, let me show you better. This tube has to go under the hose, but I'm showing you because I'm working with one hand, but it goes under the hose here. But you see this angle, this angle is facing down like this, down. It needs to be uh, facing straight up. Not straight up, but straight towards like the headlights, like 
this angle like that. You, you see the angle over there? See if I straighten this one out, see? So even if I, I have to cut it no matter what. So if I cut it here, put the math, and then twist, twist this one so I can get the right angle, it will work. But it's gonna have a short filter. Unless I put it this angle. No, has to be that angle. This angle this way. And I have to cut that inch here so it can because it pushed the holes. It pushes the holes like that. Some shit like that. So what I gotta do is take that inch and it brings it close over here and it gives the holes enough room and I just gotta adjust this shit but I have to cut it over there for the math. I was thinking of leaving it and cut this in, put in the math on this side and put in the angle for the filter that way, like that. And cut it in here but i have to elongate the wires coming from the math this way because i got the math made to go here because i was using the fucking snorkel so i have to readjust that shit uh, but once we get to that point we figure it out i don't i'll take it off later i don't want to scratch shit but we got max car in y'all gonna see you're gonna start seeing this shit it's a 69 colors hearse, I believe. I'm not, don't quote me, but I believe it's a hearse edition. 69 colors. It just came out of Streetwise uh, shop. It's painted, but it's not color sand or buff. I didn't want it color sand and buff just yet, cause it might get a little, you know, scratch here, I'm scratch to there, so you can, you know, take all the scratches off and. They can do their thing. You see it has runs and drips everywhere. It has like little fish eyes and shit. But if you remember that engine, that 383, belongs to this car. There goes the 49 inch. All this shit belongs to that car. The shit is we have to take it off the frame, send the frame off, and we can start assembling. So that's the only thing that's gonna slow us down on this one. And remember, we got Flacco's car coming in. So, yeah, she's still waiting on the fucking uh, harness. So, that's what we fucked. If not, we could have moved Ish car that way, remove the body, move the body that way, and just work on the frame and bring Flacco's, take off the body off the frame, and, and uh, Flacco has the frame ready. But he don't have no suspension. We're still waiting on UMI suspension uh ship to ship their the all the UM the fucking uh suspension for it. So that was slowing us down on Flaco car. So Flaco's frame ready, but no suspension. This car's paint ready, suspension, dry train ready, but not frame ready. Get the fuck out of my video, fucking fat boy. Damn. Huh? No, that's shit over there. Uh, ish car is all ready, but not, not harness ready. Baga is still a piece of shit there. It's not moving. We're still waiting on motor, suspension, uh, steering linkage. We're waiting on a whole lot of shit for that shit. So it's not moving. So right now, it's a lot of waiting games. But the thing is, I would like to get Ishkar out. So at least we can move one body there. And then when we bring the arrow coop, we can move the, the body there and have frame and frame. And build all build the frames. And then we bring in the body. We roll the bodies back in. Put the bodies on the frames. Roll, for, roll the cars back that way. I have a little game plan, but the thing is, they're not lining up how I wanted it to line up. Because I wanted that car gone, but still here. The only thing that car was supposed to wait, it was a Dakota. 
but now it's motherfuckers waiting for the fucking harness. And we got Max, Max, Max. Other oh, car. Uh, this one came not last week for uh, power steering, power steering, crank pulley, and uh, what else? Alternator. I was this oh, on charging the batteries, but the fucking uh, the power steering you have to take it apart from the reservoir to the pump. But the the fucking pressure line it busted, so that's why the car here. But the fucking reservoir is busted too. Look at that shit! It's leaking from the cap, it's leaking from the sides, and it's leaking from the inside. Here, see? It's leaking everywhere. The good thing is I kept this old power stream shit. And I'm gonna just change the reservoir and hope that it fixes. You can see the whole leak right there, the, the, all the leak. That leak is coming down here. And you can see the leak right there. Leak. So we're gonna fix this and then move on to that. So we're gonna just uh, fix that, clean it up, pressure wash it, and send it on its way. The hose is not leaking no more. It went to AN fitting now instead of the fucking uh, stock factory uh, shit. And so there's no leak. All right. So we're gonna close the video here and stay tuned for Max 69 Colors full build. This one's gonna be recorded. Not like Ish, you know, Ish just had up little updates and shit. But this one's gonna be recorded because we have to do everything. The only thing we're waiting still is for the vintage air, auto meter, not auto meter, out of wire, fucking full harness, uh, fucking 3D, Thompson 383. Uh, I think it's gonna have a turbo 400. We're waiting on that for nine inch uh, Willwood uh, brake system. We're gonna do that on video for you guys because I know I got a nine inch video and a Willwood, but that was back then when we didn't talk. I didn't talk behind the scenes and show you this motherfucker's working. Uh, so now we are getting more comfortable with the camera and talking now so now we're gonna explain to you how to do this shit the only thing that's slowing us down on the rear end is the the fucking the the boats uh they send you quick performance sends you uh boats for the cheapy as boats because you have to pull them up and they strip so i had max order me some uh arp boats so we're just waiting on those he said they arrived today so we're gonna start assembling today once we get the the center assembled we can move on to the axles and the fucking the, the backing plates there go the third member and there's a lot of goodies a lot of muscle rod umi dakota tanks uh a lot of a lot, lot, lot of goodies for this car so just stay tuned for this one uh you don't want to say anything It's hot. It's hot. Why is the pool? What the fuck? <laughs> Just... All right. So we catch you on the next video. So stay tuned for this piece of shit build. All right, motherfuckers, on the next one.